Ever wondered how someone could feel trapped in a relationship that started as a fairy tale romance? We are about to embark on a journey into the enigmatic world of narcissistic abuse, a realm often shrouded in confusion, pain, and manipulation. This form of emotional abuse is perpetrated by individuals exhibiting narcissistic personality disorder, a condition characterized by a grandiose sense of self-importance, a lack of empathy for others, and a desperate need for admiration. The initial stage of this abusive pattern is known as the idealization phase. It feels like a dream. It's a period of intense infatuation filled with flattering compliments, extravagant gestures, and the intoxicating sensation of being deeply loved and understood. But beneath this alluring facade lies a sinister reality, a setup for manipulation and control. Let's delve deeper into the surreal realm of the idealization phase of narcissistic abuse. We'll unravel the mechanisms behind this illusion, shedding light on a topic that remains largely misunderstood. Imagine being showered with love, attention and gifts. Sounds like a dream, right? In the mysterious labyrinth of narcissistic abuse, this is known as love bombing. This is where the narcissist, like a skilled actor, plays the part of the perfect lover. They shower their target with compliments, gifts, and overwhelming expressions of love. It's as if you're caught in a rainstorm of affection, one that drenches you in a sense of being special and cherished. This excessive display of affection manipulates your emotions, making you feel as though you're on cloud nine. It's a whirlwind romance that moves at warp speed, creating a powerful illusion of intense passion and connection. It's a dream, but one that can quickly turn into a nightmare. It's like a deadly explosion of affection, a strategic move in the narcissist's game of manipulation. But it's not all as rosy as it seems. The next step, mirroring, adds another layer to this dangerous game. Ever met someone who seems to echo your thoughts, values, and interests perfectly? It's as if they've stepped straight out of your dreams, becoming the person you've always wanted. This is no coincidence, but a calculated move by a narcissist during the idealization phase, it's known as mirroring a technique where the narcissist meticulously observes and mimics your persona. They laugh at your jokes, share your passions, mirror your ideals, and even mimic your mannerisms. This uncanny reflection of yourself is designed to draw you in, making you feel deeply seen, understood, and valued. It creates a profound sense of compatibility and connection, making you believe you've found your perfect match. But remember, this mirrored image is nothing more than an illusion, a smokescreen. It's not about genuine connection or understanding, but about control and manipulation. This uncanny reflection is just another step towards the pedestal of idealization. Standing on a pedestal, you feel special, unique and loved. But what if it's all an illusion? In the world of narcissistic abuse, the pedestal is a tool of manipulation. The narcissist puts their target on a pedestal showering them with admiration and praise. It's like standing in the sun, basking in the warmth of their affection. You feel seen, understood and cherished. The narcissist seems to know your deepest desires, your most intimate dreams. They seem to see you, the real you, in a way no one else ever has. And they love what they see. But this isn't genuine admiration, it's a carefully crafted illusion. A mirage designed to ensnare and control. The pedestal isn't built of solid rock, but of shifting sands. The narcissist isn't interested in who you are, but in the role you play in their own narrative. And when they claim to have found their soulmate, the illusion becomes even more compelling. The idea of finding your soulmate can be intoxicating, but what if it's just a manipulative tactic? In the twisted world of narcissistic abuse, the concept of a soulmate or twin flame is often weaponized. Narcissists will claim to have found their other half in you, creating a bond that feels destined, unbreakable, and above all, intoxicating. It's a powerful illusion, one that makes you feel seen, understood, and cherished like never before. But here's the catch. This isn't about love or connection, it's about control. By convincing you that you're their soulmate, the narcissist creates a sense of obligation. A tie that binds you to them. It makes it harder for you to imagine a life without them. To even contemplate breaking that bond. And while you're caught up in this whirlwind romance, they're subtly isolating you from your friends, your family, your support network. It's a dangerous illusion, a mirage of love that hides a darker reality. But beneath this bond lies a sinister motive, isolation. 
When you're isolated, it's easier to control you, manipulate you, and keep you trapped. A chilling reality of the idealization phase is the narcissist's artful scheme of isolation. It's a subtle process, often disguised as a passionate desire to spend more time together. Gradually, they might discourage your interactions with friends and family, suggesting that these relationships are somehow detrimental to the utopian love you share. This isolation creates a profound sense of dependence, where the narcissist becomes the sun around which your world revolves. The isolation serves a dual purpose. Firstly, it strengthens the illusion of the soulmate connection, making it seem as if you two against the world. Secondly, it makes it easier for the narcissist to control and manipulate you, as you're left with fewer external influences and support. This marks the end of the idealization phase. But remember, it's not the end of the game. So how do you know if you're a victim of this dangerous illusion? It's a tricky situation to navigate as the idealization phase is so perfectly crafted that it can be hard to spot. However, there are telltale signs. Excessive possessiveness and jealousy, unrealistic expectations, sudden mood swings, emotional outbursts, manipulation and guilt tripping are all hallmarks of narcissistic abuse. The narcissist may take control over finances and personal decisions and exhibit disrespectful and demeaning behavior. These signs are often masked by the intoxicating admiration and the feeling of being cherished. But it's crucial to recognize that the idealization phase is not genuine. It's a facade designed to manipulate and control. If you find yourself experiencing any of these signs, don't hesitate to seek support. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member, therapist, or abuse hotline. Remember, you're not alone, and there is help available. It's time to break free from the illusion.